everybody my name is sherry welcome to my stamp studio excuse my voice that's a little bit scratchy if you follow my channel you know last week was wedding week so i wasn't in my office much but i was outside a whole lot for all the wedding activities and um between being a little bit tired and um the pollen back in the air although the weather could not be any more glorious right now october's in indiana are just glorious so even though I can't get in the pool, it looks fabulous, but the pollen has made my throat be a little bit scratchy. So today I am going to show you another card that features one of the sets that we will be using in my upcoming online class. Um, it's the Art of Stamping Christmas version. So if you saw the video, the original one, which would be with these cards right here, and that one I showed you the sets that I would be using. And at that point when I, when I recorded that day, the holly the um, Leaves of Holly bundle was not available. It was on back order. And at that point they said it was gonna be until the end of October that they were back in. So even though that was the number one set that I wanted to use on this class, I didn't include it. But by the time I got around to posting that video, the set is here. Because right now, if you're dealing with any kind of shipping issues, then you know, um, getting a truck, getting it off a container, all of the stuff that required, sometimes the days they just don't, it's a best guess. So I went back in. If you see the, the registration information, then you can add on the Bows of Holly. So for this particular online class, we are going to be using um, three different, or uh, here I have them here, some different sets. So you can add them on, you can add all of them on, or you can um, just purchase them. So all of the information's on the, the um, my website. So you can add on Christmas lights. So for this bundle, this is this card. This is made with the Christmas lights and all of these are videos on my channel. So you can search for those. You can see on these, you might be thinking that I put a lot of pearls on here. If you didn't see that, then we're gonna make six cards. Three of them will use the gold, the gilded leaf, which is what I'm using today. The other three will use the pearl, um, pearlized enamel effects, but not just this way. I don't know how, but I'm gonna come up with some way that we use them that's different than just putting them on a card. Although you can, and it looks beautiful, and you can see it looks like pearls. So that's the first set. Then the second set that we are going to use is um, not a bundle, it doesn't have dies, but there's two sets. So Peace to You and Hope and Peace. But if you get the Hope and Peace, on today's card, I'm also going to use it. Every year they do a couple of Christmas sentiment sayings and I really like this one. So this is where I'm getting the sentiments. So here are the Peace to You samples that are already on my channel. And then so happy to have back the Boughs of Holly in the Holly Leaves Bundle. So here, this is already up. And this was one of the first cards that I did when I started the Art of Stamping series that I've had going uh, for a couple of months now. Um, so we're gonna use that. We're gonna use none of the stamps in the set today. If you wanna see the stamps used, then go watch this video. Today we're gonna to use the dies, which will be the same way when we do the class. And then we're gonna use the gilded leafing on today's card. So for the papers that we have, I'm gonna use some um, of the craft six by six, but we'll come back to that. Then I have, I've already run these through because the, all of my art of stamping cards it's about the art of stamping, so it takes a little bit longer, so I've pre-done some of it. So this is the red and white glimmer paper that is in the holiday catalog, and it's with the, it's just called red and white glimmer paper, I think. This is the glimmer paper that comes with the lights aglow, and I've run that through the green pieces. So here's a bunch of the dies. I didn't use quite all of the dies, but I used a lot of them, so we have those pieces here. We have another little piece here. And then this is my favorite piece out of this set. You can see it pops out the tag. And then on mine, I also popped out this because that's gonna get covered up. So I just wanted to show you a way to save some paper. And the, look at how cute this is. It pulls that little piece out there, so it has that. Then all of the pieces of your holly need to pop out. So let me pop these out real quick. All right, so those are ready. And then I'm also gonna use some shimmer white. And for this, I have used the solid image of the dies. So just kind of wanted you to see what I used without having to watch me run them through to save us a little bit of time. Now for this card we are, and then I have a piece of um, 
evergreen for the background. We are gonna use the gilded leaf. And this is a really good, if you've never used it before, then this card just happened to be really a really easy one to see how to use it. Plus it doesn't have to be perfect, which a lot of times the gilded leaf, it kind of makes it, I always feel like it has that old, um, old world Italy kind of feel to it. And you know, that's old and it's worn off. So you don't have to worry about it being perfect, right? So for this, if you are doing the retreat, I highly, or the class, I highly recommend that you get the embossing kit because we will be doing embossing. And then obviously with the um, Gilded Leaf, you get that. If you, there's different ways to participate, it's free if you're on my team because for my team members, I post all of my online classes on our group Facebook page. So if you join all of the classes that I've ever done, you can go on there and um, see those. So that's free. And right now Stampin' Up! does have a sign up special, which I will feature that in one of my emails this week. Um, you can get just the videos and the photos of the project, or you can get the card kit. And then if you get the card kit, you get the uh, enamel effects and the, the leaf, but you need to have the heat and stick powder and the Versamark. And then you can add on the stamps. So I'm gonna use the Versamark and the heat and stick. And let's start, we'll do the glitter, the glimmer pieces first because they're the easiest to see. So if you've not done this before, it's super easy. I'm gonna take my heat and stick, which this was a pretty good pad and then I didn't know that my holly leaf, my, I mean, my mistletoe was dirty. So just smash it on here. Doesn't matter if you get everywhere. Obviously I didn't get the stem because I'm holding it, but that's okay. So just kind of press it on there good. I'm not gonna do these two things that, oh yeah, I do, I did do them. I'm not gonna do the frame. I knew there was something that I didn't do. So I'm gonna leave all of that so it's more solid. We'll grab these, smash those on. And if you've never put the leafing on the glimmer paper, because of the texture, like uh, the glitter doesn't rub, rub off of, I can't talk today, still tired. I did try to die cut and I had run these out of a different color paper and I put them on my paper and I ran through and I thought, why didn't those cut? And it was because I put the paper. Paper doesn't cut, you need a dye. So I'm still a little bit tired. So apparently it's affecting my ability to talk. I don't know what I was saying. Oh, our glitter doesn't fall off. So it works really well for this. But then also when you put the, the leafing on, not all of it's gonna stick. So I am just gonna pour this literally on and this is why it's nice to have the tray because whatever doesn't stick, I'm just gonna pour back in there and we'll use on the solid images. Now, when you use the um, heat and stick, what you wanna do is just heat it till it changes color, which on regular cardstock, sometimes that can be hard to see. If you go a second too long, then it's just heated. It's not any sticky. So the idea is, is to heat it, it melts, you're done. Um, so one tip, get your gun hot because you don't, if you spend your time letting your gun get hot while it's over your first piece, it will be too long. So make sure it's nice and hot. And then thankfully we have these little tweezers that come in the embossed kit now. And again, it doesn't, the, it doesn't need to be perfect on here. So like where this is gonna stick, it's not going to. Now watch it move, I mean melt. See how fast that goes? Some of it's not melted, but that's okay. If it falls off, it falls off. But now you can see why if you do this and it, you're like, I can never get it to work. You can see how fast it changes. See, it's just like almost instantly. And now you know why if you heat your gun up there, it's too long. It's hard for me too to do this while I'm talking because the tendency is to hold it there longer than I need. They're like little buried treasures in there. Okay. That's it then for the glimmer paper. Now we're gonna say, do the same thing to our shimmer white. You can use white or you could use vanilla. I think vanilla would be pretty with this because after I used the shimmer white, I realized a lot of it's getting covered up. I just like the tone 
of our shimmer white because it's not white and it's not vanilla. It's kind of in that space in between the two. So I'm gonna do the exact same thing. This time, since I already have this in here, I'm just gonna take my leaves and I'm just gonna lay them Versamark side down. Your fingers do get a little sticky. A lot of times when we do any of this art of stamping stuff, it's a little bit messy. And I have a whole, uh, there is a playlist on my channel so you can go watch it if you're interested in seeing some of the other projects that I've done with it. Now I'm going to, um, I can move that out of the way I'm done with that. Get my gun hot again. Before you pick these up, just kind of smash them down in the powder. You can see it in, now you kind of know you can angle it in the light because it goes so fast and it's harder to see on the, the papers that aren't a color. That's why if you've not, if you use that dark green, really easy to see it. And so fast, go fast. Because sometimes when you emboss, you are like, I want to make sure I got everything. On this, it doesn't matter. Now, if you're in stamping an image with the heat, with the Versamark and heat and stuck powder, then it's a little bit more important because you don't want part of your image to be missing. So we have those. Let me clean this up. There's two, two jars of the leafing that I got when it first came out, and I just put it in here, and um, then I just work with it from in here. So I'm just going to lay all this stuff in here. Again, a little bit messy. And you can see down in the bottom, because I've had this, I don't know, maybe we've had it for two years. So in the bottom where I always squish it off, it's gotten a little bit more dusty. The rest of this is the flakes that it kind of comes in. So I'll put that in a flake. Put this in some of the flakes. It's kind of windy and the wind's coming. I don't know if you can hear it. It's blowing in my office. So we may have some of this make a little gold storm. And you could have a much smaller box that you put this in, but you want something to contain it because you can see it's kind of light and it blows around. So then just take any kind of a sponge. You could use a blending brush or a dauber and just press it into the heat and stick. And then what sticks stays and what comes off, comes off. So it's a combination of how fast it heated. And then, when, you know, when I was pushing my Versamark on there, not everywhere did I push hard. So some of it didn't have as much Versamark for the ink to stick to because you want it to kind of look, like I said, old like that. So we have all of our pieces now. Let's glue these together. So I'm gonna use the fine tip glue. I'll put all my pieces here. I kind of need to have room. So let's move them up here. And just add some glue around the edges. Try to get the pieces that are. That's the one I was trying to get and I didn't get it. And then they just go right on the top of this. And I just grab a stamp block 
and lay it there for a second. And that will help hold it down. Look how pretty that is. It's gorgeous. I don't have my bucket over here anymore. There's not enough room on my table to do both things at once. We'll see if that stays there before it blows away. You can always see the last projects that I've done when I use my blocks like this. I, A lot of times I just use the giant block and that's my glue holder, but because there's so many little pieces on this one, it's easier to just use multiples. That one doesn't have all the curly cues, so it's good. All right, so I'm gonna use just another little piece of shimmer white, and then like I said, I'm gonna use the open piece in early, early evergreen. I'm gonna stamp that um, Emmanuel, God is with us. If you want one of the larger sayings, then you can um, use the larger die that comes in this, or you could um, use the ones that come in the stamp set, they fit on these. I'm going to run this through with this. And then I have the craft cardstock. So it comes six by six. So I'm going to cut it down four by five and a quarter. And then I'm going to run it through the timber embossing folder. When you do my classes, anytime, like if this would be in the class, then if it's a die or a folder that's not included in what you can add on, then I I was going to say, I do this for you. Usually it's my husband that does it. I have a lot of dusties on here. So these should be good. It doesn't take long for that glue to set, but now you can see how all the stuff's nice and flat on it. So fold your evergreen in half. This one doesn't have any ribbon tied around it, so you can go ahead and put this on here. And then that way, um, as we build it up, You'll know if it's, you don't want your stuff to stick off the edge of your card, especially for a Christmas card. I love the craft card stock. I've been on a craft card stock, craft card stock kick. I really can't talk if you haven't noticed. So here we have our little label. And I thought this looked a little bit flat and I wanted it to have when I got this stuff on it, I just wanted to have a little bit more something. You know, some of you don't like to do this. So if you don't like to do it, then just don't. Um, and you don't have to tell me that you don't like it. Sometimes when I say that, then you guys feel the need to tell me whether you would or wouldn't. It's okay. We all like different things. So this is the 100 blend. I think it just kind of gives it, again, that old world feel. So we have some 100. And then I have some dark cherry cobbler. And then I have the evergreen. And for this one, I'm gonna move my label out since I stamped on evergreen and just do it on here. Looks a little bit like snow as well. And it actually amplifies the, pat the timber pattern that's in here. So we're gonna start with our hollies that we're gonna put up in the corner. So I'm just gonna stick them on. I'm using regular seal, so if I don't like it, I'll be able to move it. But I want it to go all the way to the edges of the card because there's a lot going on here. That one kind of moved when I glued it, but we'll cover it up with the, the berries. Let's stick this just under here. And again, I don't want them to go off. See, that's gonna go off. So let's move this down. That's why we like the seal. Move it down a little bit. It doesn't look like it's that far down on my other card, but it's must be because it's not fitting. There we go. 
go. And let's grab this now on this. I'm gonna make sure that I get the frame itself and then you wanna make sure you get these just to make sure everything sticks. You don't want your card falling apart. Again, make these go all the way out to the edges. Fill up all that space. I'm gonna take the holly berries. And see, that looks awful right now. It's going to look beautiful as soon as we put the berries on and cover that up. Stick those on. And you can see most of the leafing is sticking as I flip it all around and I glue it and I press on it. If it sticks, it sticks. Now we have our little banner, which you can see is gonna cover that hole up right there. I know some of you were worried about it. And I'm going to use just our gold shimmer ribbon. So this is the top. You wanna to make sure which side's the top because I'm gonna put a little bit of adhesive on here. And then I'm gonna be about that much. Just make a couple of loops. They don't have to be even. And it doesn't really matter where they go because you're gonna fix them once you get on here. So this is the top. Stick them here. And then take your dimensionals and hold the rest of it on that way. It's also nice that that has a little bit of cardstock right there because the dimensionals stick a bit better to the cardstock as opposed to the glimmer paper, shimmer paper. Sometimes it's glimmer, sometimes it's shimmer. <laughs> and because we have red and green, it could be a combination of the two. Cover that right up, just smash that down. We're gonna take our little evergreens and see it's it sticks, like it's not coming off. I mean, a tiny bit of dust, which tends to be right there where you didn't get it all out. And then for my embellishments, I went with the Red Rhinestones Classic Christmas Embellishment. These are in club this month, so if you're in club, be happy they're coming because we use a lot of the Red Rhinestones at Christmas. Oops. And you can see where it's, sometimes it can be a little bit tricky to have it stick to the leafing. So press hard, and if it doesn't stick, and it might also be because I didn't pull off enough of this fresh. I think it was sticking to my thing, but you can add some glue. And here is a super beautiful card. This one has more gold on it than my other one because I was talking. And so when I smashed into the Versamark pad, I did get a lot more of the heat and stick powder. But if you're doing these and you wanna do like several in a row, then I would do like all of the the glimmer and then I would do all of the vanilla or shimmer white. Like do each stage and if you're gonna make 10, then do 10 of all of these leaves first and then go and do 10 of your labels and it will be much quicker um, if you mass produce in that way. But super pretty. I don't know which one, that's my first one. This is my second. A little bit more gold glitter, but I guess not. Yeah, these have more gold. Those have a lot more gold <laughs> than that. That's what happens when I'm talking. But if you're interested in signing up for my retreat, or it's not a retreat. It was going to be a retreat. I don't have time. I'm also presenting at Stampin' Ups on stage in Indianapolis. And we're hosting event, an event that weekend here in Indianapolis. I have so much going on. I'm like, I can't do a retreat. So we're doing six cards. We will do two cards with each of the three sets that I showed you. So I'm just calling it a class. My retreats are a little bit different. Usually we do 12 cards and I usually stagger when I send you the videos. This is going to be a class. I'll mail you this stuff out a couple days after I mail it. Then you'll get the videos um, to show you how to do it. So if you're interested, everything is in my email and on my website. So make sure you're on my email 
list to get on it, you just go to my website. There's a little pop-up. You fill it out and you're good to go. Everybody have a great one. If you have any questions, let me know. Bye.